Alright y'all, let's just take a moment and realize that Kenna Bridge of Spirits is a blessing to the gaming industry right now. What's up y'all gooby goobers, welcome back to the channel, it's your boy Little T, and today I wanted to make a short but impactful review on the brand spanking new Disney Plus game, Kenna Bridge of Spirits. Nah, I'm trolling, this game is made by Ember Labs, and however it does look like a Pixar slash Disney game, but let me just tell you that these developers, they know what the fuck they're doing, because Kenya Bridge of Spirits is a beautiful game. Hands down, probably the best $40 I've spent on a game, Kenya Bridge of Spirits is an open world action adventure game with platforming with double jumps that remind me of Jack and Dexter slash Spyro and very unique puzzle solving with stunning visuals. Canada Bridge of Spirits is an old school throwback 3D open world style of game. The world is broken into unlockable zones and the game will spirit guide you from point A to point B in a very engaging linear fashion. Then fight bosses, solve puzzles, engage with new encounterments, and rinse and repeat. Kenya is a spirit guide and each individual zone there will be a corrupted spirit Kenya needs to save. You will meet new people who were once close to those others at the regions you explore. Learn about each individual character and what went wrong for them. Watch beautiful cinematic flashbacks and watch how everything unfolds into a boss fight. The combat will start off simple, your primary weapon being Kenna's staff. As you progress through the story, you'll be rewarded with other weapons and abilities such as a spirit bow and exploding bomb. You'll also be granted a skill tree where you can improve your melee attacks as well as other abilities you wield. The combat is fast paced, strategic, and surprisingly challenging giving its cutesy feel of a game. To be honest, the boss fights were the best part of the game with its intense music and intensity of gameplay. I think there was like at least 12 plus different bosses you actually fight in this game which was so refreshing and fun with their crazy amount of move list and all of the reads that you had to do on your enemy. My experience with my normal difficulty really just kicked me in the balls. It's actually a perfect difficulty for everybody that plays this game. You'll be introduced to these little cute shithead rots that will help you throughout your journey. You can use them to swarm an enemy to get an advantage for some heavy damage. Every time you deal damage there will be a meter to fill up to use your super strong rot abilities. Kenna Bridge of Spirits is perfectly balanced, you're never doing too much of one thing which is dope. The game is well paced, I mean very well paced, as the combat, platforming, puzzle solving, and collecting spirit mail to unlock new areas, finding new rots and hats, sometimes using your small rot army to move small objects to help you get from point A to point B, or just find new collectibles. The bomb platforming felt brand new and fresh to me. There is something so satisfying about throwing your bomb to seeing these enormous boulders form into platforms and unlock new things. What really stood out to me was you having to use your bow to shoot the blue crystals to rotate certain platforms. This was just a huge standout to me and it was just a beautiful visual and just made me really engage in this platforming experience. I will say one gripe with this game that I had was the hats you unlock you only get to put those on your rots, not Kenna. I was a bit bummed out by this, and the hats don't really increase your terms of stats on Kenna, and it sucks because I feel that's where they kind of messed up. But it's alright, there's always room for improvement. It is what it is for that. I would hope in a future game of theirs that they would actually have collectibles that can help you throughout your journey, not just cosmetics. Although there were some dope cosmetics, these rots increased their spicy drip game. It still wasn't enough. This game is beautiful to its art animation with solid combat, remarkable world design, and great balance of combat platforming, subtle subtle pausing <laughs> kill myself puzzle solving and exploration overall this is my favorite game of this year hands down and i can't wait to play more of this game in the master difficulty and make some of the best gameplay this game has to offer in terms of the combat the final verdict i'm giving to kenna bridge of spirits is a 9 out of 10 this game deserves it period i can't wait for more news about this game and possible dlc from the success this game has achieved in its first week of launch. This $40 game literally feels like a triple A game and just puts all of those fat, large developers to shame. It's honestly amazing what this team did uh, to make this fucking remarkable game. And a sequel? Shit, say less fam. All right, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Look out for more spicy content. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all of that good shit. I think YouTube be taking down likes and stuff, which ain't cool. Doesn't really boost the algorithm for me and doesn't help me with viewership, but it is what it is. So yeah, drop that like if you're actually enjoying the content. Yeah, so this has been your boy Little T, Young Dad, Daddy T, whatever you want to call me. Alright, y'all have a blessed day. Alright, peace out. I love y'all. Laters.